hello everyone so today i am going to implement this uh, wind controller so as you can see here this arrow shows the direction of the wind if i rotate this you can see the direction of the wind changes so uh, the change affects the grass and also the trees in the world and not just that we can also change the power of the wind as well for example if i make it zero there is little to no wind if i make it 100 there is some wind if i make this 500 the you can see the bending is increased and also we can increase change these turbulence values as well so if i make it something like four you can see the speed is much faster it may not look realistic but yeah you can play with the values and come up with the perfect values you need so right let's see how to implement these today So, uh, so this project, so actually this map is taken out of the open world project and there I implemented this directional wind system using materials for these trees and also for this grass. So if I show you a material, let me open one of the tree materials okay let's take this bark and this is uh, instance of this embark reactive material so here we have this world position offset this is actually taken uh, calculated inside this mf wind bend material function we take only pre-skinned global position as the input. So actually I have explained how did I come up with all these things in detail in these tutorials. Uh, bending trace to win. I did this I think somewhere around 2000 19 okay that's some time but still the same system works in Unreal Engine 5 also so yeah this is the same system uh, and yeah so today using this system so this is the same functions so this wind this uh, direction is implemented or defined in this wind direction and a parameter in this mp global material parameter collection here okay so this is this part i'm going to take from what i have done previously and the same thing happens for this cross as well so that's why they also bend so now what i'm gonna do is uh, uh here let's create an adapter let's call it wind controller and here let's add an arrow component maybe we should use red because I don't know. It's not something dangerous. Uh, five. <laughs> okay. So now I am going to define the this wind direction. I'm going to change the wind direction according to the direction that we are pointing through this wind controller so here let's get 
vector forward vector and set vector parameter value of that collection mp global parameter name is wind direction parameter value is this one uh wait because here i have used 0 200 0 so we need to have some intensity uh, some multiplier otherwise uh, the wind may not be powerful enough so let's multiply this with the uh, float Mm, let's try 2200 and use it as the parameter value okay and uh, uh, one more thing let's promote this to a value variable and name it as wind power so default value is 200 let's expose this into the detail panel by making this public now let's drag and drop a wind controller here right see now you can see the wind direction from this blue arrow so if i rotate it you can see the grass and trees are rotating to the direction that is pointed by this arrow see okay so yeah that's how we can implement a wind controller also if i change this value you can see the wind power increases so you can clearly see the grass is bending more and if i make it negative it doesn't affect yeah that's okay so if i make it less oh wait ah, it does affect even if i make it negative it bends in the different in the opposite direction of this arrow so yeah so if i make it a uh, very large value you can see this everything deforms so which is not cool but you can do that okay so uh, one more thing I would like to try is uh, here this wind direction and uh, what if we need a way to uh, increase the speed of say this sway in effect um, not a speed the frequency so for that here maybe we can yeah in the mp global this is wind direction let's add another parameter a scalar parameter wind let's call it wind turbulence I'll keep it 1 as the default value and here for the MF wind blend we can add it here mm, collect collection parameter mp global parameter name wind turbulence multiply and apply 
so you don't see any change yet right now uh, it looks the same but if I change this you can see now uh, the strain frequency is increased so if I make it further higher you will clearly see the effect but it doesn't look realistic of course you have to balance the values so for now I'll keep it here as one and in our wind controller um, now in controller here I'll set scalar parameter value again here parameter name wind turbulence let's promote this to a value wind turbulence the default value should be 1 let's make it public so we can change it in the details panel here now see if I increase this you can see the sway in effect increases so yeah but I'm gonna keep it in a reasonable level and here is our final result now we can change the direction of the wind and also intensity of the wind and also turbulence okay so yeah i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye